Uh, we have an announcement of what is sure to be another great event for our organization, for our patrons, and just as importantly for our community. As you are aware, the last year saw the first ever outdoor concert series here at the Batavia Downs. And the series featured some of the most iconic names across the classic rock and country music spectrums. And the feedback from the public was overwhelmingly positive. From the acts themselves, to the food vendors, to the venue, and even a little help from Mother Nature on most of the nights, our shows were a smashing success. On the heels of last year's series, we are very excited to announce the second annual Rockin' the Downs concert series at Batavia Downs. We are also happy to announce that we have added two additional shows this year, bringing the total number of outdoor concerts to eight this year. The series kicks off on Friday, June 22nd. It's the return of the money man, Eddie Money. Eddie Money rocked the Downs last summer with his massive hits, Baby Hold On, Two Tickets to Paradise, Think I'm In Love, Shaken, Take Me Home Tonight and I Want to Go Back. Uh, the following uh, Friday, June 29th, is a classic rock band, Grand Funk Railroad. They'll be here. On Friday, July 6th, Blue Oyster Cult will be making their Batavia Downs debut. On Friday, July 13th, a pair of Canadian rock legends, Rick Emmett of Triumph and Carl Dixon from Coney Hatch will be here. On July 20th, Friday, July 20th, Rumors is a National Fleetwood Mac tribute band. On Friday, July 27th, American alternative rock group, Puddle of Mud, will be here at the Downs. Legendary band, Three Dog Night. Many, many number one hits. Uh, they'll be here on Friday, August 3rd. And closing out the series is Grammy Award winning country artist, Leanne Womack. We're very excited about that. In addition to her performing here, we're gonna raffle off a dinner with her as well that night. So patrons should be looking forward to that as well. Tickets for all eight concerts will be available at www.bataviaconcerts.com beginning at 10 a.m. on Friday, February 16th, tomorrow. Individual tickets to each concert will remain. Nice low price, $10 for general admission. VIP tickets will again be $25. Tickets can be purchased at Batavia Downs Gaming and Hotel at the Lucky Treasures gift shop located right here in the lobby, as well as online, as I said before, www.bataviaconcerts.com. New this year is a season pass, which includes admission to all eight concerts at a discounted rate. The season pass for 2018 is $60 for the entire season, for general admission and $150 for VIP for the whole series. Great bargain. In addition, as you know, we have very reasonably priced beverages and food out in the infield for the track. And we are thrilled to once again host the region's premier concert series. It includes another great lineup of uh, musical legends. But we just again want to reiterate, it's only one part of what we do, what we continue to do here at Batavia Downs. Um, if you haven't had the opportunity, please check out our hotel. Uh, the packages that we have year-round with the great food that we provide here, the uh, enhanced banquet facilities that we have for wedding receptions and school and family reunions, conventions, trade shows, and we offer a multitude of outstanding food and beverage options for our patrons. We're also excited to announce very shortly we have an upgrade. We have a capital project going on here. You're going to see the fruits of that shortly, which include a new cigar lounge, uh, offering fine cigar options to enjoy with your friends as you also enjoy our food and watching your favorite sporting events. Obviously we're going for a little older age group than what they're looking at at Darien Lake. I mean, is that by design? It is. Those, those are the people who frequent, those, those are our patrons that we have coming here to Batavia Downs. We want to provide them the entertainment that they're looking for. And, and at, at a reasonable cost. Sure. And with the lineup with the bigger names from the older times, bring in people in from outside of Genesee County in and spending money here. Not only here, for but all the local businesses filling up our hotel. So you know what, the, the concert series is really a good addition for the city of Batavia all the way around, I think. And last year we tried to limit it. We worked closely with the municipalities, with the police departments, the county sheriff. We wanted to keep the crowd to about a 4,000 um, size, 4,000 people. And this year we're interested in expanding that a little bit with the support and cooperation of the municipalities, and we believe we're going to get that. So we're going to shoot for crowds between five and 6,000 people there, and we believe we'll be able to attain that with the nice uh, concerts that we put together. So this is your second season doing this. Is it lessons from last year, things that you, you that say work right, think you're trying to improve on this year? Absolutely. Actually, we have a meeting right after this at noon to go over uh, kind of the, call it the post-mortem of, of what happened last year and what we can do to improve. You know, last year, the parking worked out very well. Uh, we're actually going to expand our parking lot over here to the right behind our ITW building. Uh, the security lines initially, we had they were a little slow to start off with, but by the end of the, of the term, we had very, very small lines and people broke it through very quickly. I think we want to make sure we improve 
the quality of the food and the vendors. It was very good last year, but we have additional vendors this year. And just whatever we can do to improve the quality of the food and the beverage and the, uh, the value that we get for people out here. That's very important. And the decision to expand to eight shows over six shows last year, can you talk about that? Yes, because the man was great, you know, and the season worked out well. The, the weather cooperated. Um, we had a lot of bands interested in coming here. We had to sort through the ones that we, we had a lot of offers to, to sort through. And we'd like to expand a little further from eight, to be honest with you, but we'll, we'll take it one step at a time. Tom Turnbull mentioned at the uh, recent uh, Ways and Means meeting that uh, one of the things that worked out well for Tavy Downs was necessarily the uh, concert attendance as much as it is it really helped on the gaming floor. Do you want to address that? A little bit of both. I mean, it was very, very good. I mean, we, we thought that if we could get a couple hundred people to stay behind and enjoy our food and beverage and then again the game before we'd be successful. But we had over 4,000 people at some of these concerts. So clearly most of them came here to enjoy the concerts. Some stayed behind and had a little more fun and that's that's good for everybody. And we're, we're happy that we had another increase in revenue. And with the tough market we're in uh, of casino gaming uh, out west and out east, as you know, the new one opened at Delago. We, we've got competition. They provide entertainment. They provide hotels and that's why we've stepped to the plate. And you know we're providing uh, the same exact thing here. So you know that's that's really what it's about is uh, you know being in a competitive market and doing everything we can to be vibrant here. Along those lines, I just read a story yesterday that somebody sent me about the oversaturation of casinos in Eastern New York right now. And based on what I'm hearing out of here, you guys just seem to be doing, you know growing your gaming revenue yeah, in I, this market. Yeah, correct? less than less than what we would have liked. I mean, certainly that. Uh, the saturation has affected us, but we've, we've, uh, you know, Henry introduced a concert series last year. There's just a whole lot of different things that we're doing, amenities we're providing. We're fighting. We have our own little niche here. Like uh, our president says, we're the cheers of the casino industry, and that's really what we keep building on every day here. Yeah, I think what we're trying to do is provide a little bit more um, options for our customers and that includes entertainment, that includes better food, includes a cigar lounge, it includes frankly just to provide the best customer service. That's what we like to believe, that's why we're growing. We really, that's what we concentrate on. Our focus is clearly on just get, you know, providing excellent customer service from You're top down. things beyond more than just gaming. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And the first time I've heard about the Scar Lounge. Uh, yes. It sounds cool. What yeah. Tell me about that. Uh, it should be ready. It's on. It's a part of our capital project. We have about a $4 million capital project underway. We should be out to bid um, in two weeks. And we'll be expanding the uh, 34 Rush Thurman Thomas's um, bar. Uh, we're expanding Fortunes, the restaurant, or adding the cigar lounge, and improving the um, conference room here so that we can expand upon our trade shows and weddings and everything else that we have going here. So it's, we're very excited about that. Personally, which concert are you looking forward to the most? Oh boy, I'm looking forward to them all. Um, Three Dog Nights probably my favorite band. So. But they're all Lily great. Leanne Womack country. Right? <laughs> Actually, that's my. I always tell my daughter that's the song we're going to play at our yeah. wedding. But yeah. Um, the other things we're doing here, just along you know, your question about the uh, high, comp high level competition. You know, we're having other events here. We have a wrestling show here on uh, February 24th. We have uh, MMA out at the track. We have a whiskey fest that's going to be in here on June 9th. We're just, there's a lot of demand for things going on here. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing the, the response that we're getting to some of the events that we're trying to plan here. And it's a perfect location. It's right between, right in the middle of Batavia and Rochester, and really getting um, people from, and as far as Syracuse, to be honest with you, uh, people are coming here for a lot of the events that we have. Has the presence of the hotel helped enable you to ramp up some of the Absolutely. stuff? Absolutely. There's no question about it. The hotel has allowed us, especially with the wedding, especially with the trade shows, especially uh, the events that we've had, it allows people to plan their events much better. Yes, it's been very helpful. So getting into yeah. some of the specifics, I think the big announcement is the dinner with Leanne Womack. Uh, is that something that you guys are going to cater? Is it going to be one of at one of your restaurants, or is that something you can take her home and? <laughs> no, it's on site here, and it will be a, uh, a probably an hour long event where we'll raffle off some to our customers. We'll we'll provide a lottery system or whatever. Whoever wins the uh, the lottery, many, uh, I believe we'll only have I think it's ten people that are allowed to, to attend. That's my understanding. I'll, I'll work on that though. I think it was ten.